hey guys welcome back to my channel this is what my hair was looking like before and this is what it's looking like now this is the healthier and thickest my hair has ever looked in my adult life <laughs> do that sound good hmm okay so i'm trying to grow my hair to waist length so join me so we can all try to grow our hair to waist length together and I'm also going to share some of my protective style that I do. I mostly do wigs. Right here, I'm showing you guys. Um, there was a bald spot right there by me wearing my wigs. You all know some of the wigs, they have comb in the back and the sides. So the comb at the back was peeling the back of my head. And by me doing my regular wash routine every week and keeping my hair in protective style, when I'm going to use the tuna or the aloe vera, that's when I pull my hair out of the cardro so that the aloe vera or the tuna, you're going to see what I call tuna. In every country, we call it a different name. But I do wash my hair in my corner and that's what I say. When I'm going to use the aloe vera or the tuna, that's when I take my protective style down. So this is what my hair is looking like, guys. And as what I say, guys, this is the LTS my hair I've ever looked like. Um, I always been at um, shoulder length, but um, last year I clipped my hair because I wanted my hair to be even. I did not want to be pulling my hair down to my waist, and when you look, it's a little piece. You know, this, the <laughs> the thin part of your hair you pulling down. No, I wanted my hair to have body, so I clipped my hair a lot last year so that my hair could be even and fuller, and I think that's helping me a lot. Um, I share a lot of stuff that I use in my hair that do works with my hair. Um, this is what I'm using presently. And it's not only washing your hair. I oil my hair every three to four days. And I use the um, spray my hair with either water or leave-in conditioner. So this is the length of my hair. What you call that? Um, bra strap? No. Um, yeah, but you all know. So that's where my hair is now. And as what well I say, I wasn't looking for length. I was looking for my hair to be fuller because I always have thin hair. So I'm proud of myself, guys. Like I'm doing good. And when I said lazy, I mean I'm a lazy person when it comes to my hair. So that's why I said I wash my hair in Conroe a lot because to pull my hair out, then Conroe it, it's a lot. So these are the um, shampoo and conditioner that I'm using my hair. And I do do the same thing that I do in my kids' hair. In my hair, I do switch out my shampoo and conditioner out as well now and then. Um, this is the main choice and before I was using the Shea Moise shampoo and conditioner and this main choice I realized they have different different brand and it did take me a while because I usually just go in the store and pick up a shampoo and conditioner out of main choice and it's just the other day I realized I was picking up different different shampoo and conditioner but I'll show you guys in the next video the difference with the shampoo and conditioner but these are working just fine for me and my girls and you all know i talk about the shea moist in a lot of my video i've been using the shea moist for years in my hair and in my kids hair so i decided to switch out um shampoo and conditioner every um six to eight months to see the difference what i like with this it do not i shampoo my hair two times and it do not dry my hands out and it do not you're gonna see all my curls looking at the end it do not dry my hair out or my kids hair out and all of us have different hair textures and you are going to see the difference in my curls um the conditioner what i like about the conditioner um it works as a leave-in conditioner you can leave it in for 20 minutes or you can um wash it out that's what i like about it you all see my curls it do not dry my hair out and uh, that's why i'd stick with i use the um shea moist for a long period of time because it do not suck the moist out of my hair or my kids hair but i did my research on this and i heard good news about it and with me trying it yeah and you all see i do shampoo my hair two times yeah so um as what i say switching out my my oil my um shampoo and conditioner i try to switch out everything that i'm using now every six to eight months and it's working very well for me but if i try something and i see that it's not working like i give it like um two months to see i go ahead and switch but if i like something i'm gonna stick to it for six to eight months and that's what i'm doing with this um you all see my hair and i shampoo my hair 
two times it did not let my hair look dry even when my hair dry because i do not oil my hair after i wash my hair because i do not at the time guys no i do not <laughs> so i do like a next day or so so here's the conditioner as well i say you can let the conditioner sit in your hair for 20 minutes or you could just put it in comb your hair out and then you go ahead and wash it out but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out after because I have to use the tuna in my hair. And you all see, I tried to detangle my hair when I put the conditioner in my hair. And then after, I'll go in and use the comb in my hair. And after I finish conditioning my hair and comb it out, I go ahead and rinse it out with lukewarm water. So now I'm going to go ahead and twist it in a small section because I'm going to use my tuna in my hair right now. So here's my tuna. I know in other countries you all call it different name, but in Jamaica, I don't know if other island call it tuna as well, but in Jamaica we call it tuna. And we have some fat one in Jamaica, like um, guys I drive around Orlando, like the kids, the school that my kids go to, I see some there. And then when I take a shortcut the other day, I saw a tree and guess what? Where my stepkids are living, there's actually a big tree there. That's where I get these. And you all can see I use my hand, my finger to punch her to get the juice out. Um, they do sell these in a store, but the only difference are they are skinny, like they're not as fleshy as this because you'll see i'm using my finger to punch it like back in jamaica what we do is cut it in off like this like cut it, split it in two and then we just go ahead and rub it on my hair like oh i'm doing right here you all can see the slime right here it's just like a aloe vera but um this have more benefits i would say than the aloe vera because the aloe vera do grow my hair but i feel like this let my hair more thicker and healthier and you can see the curl patterns um as what i say i go between this and the aloe vera in my hair um look at that Ooh. so um there's different way you all can use this um i do use it in my kids here but not like this i'm gonna bring you guys a video showing you all oh i use it in my kids here you all can use it that way in your hair as well and you're all gonna see i did scrape it because my mom is like oh and when i'm in jamaica i just scrape it and use it in my hair so there's many ways you can use the tuna in your hair and my mom is saying that um you can also drink it as well it cleans you out so i've never tried that i did not see my great grandmother did that i only see her use it in her hair so me drinking it is a no-no <laughs> i'd rather try the aloe vera because i see a lot of people eat aloe vera but with the tuna mm -mm. so um as what i say my hair section i just um go ahead and put it in my hair section by section for it to get root to hand and meanwhile as i'm going through i use my finger to punch it so i can get more juice out of it so here you can also use a knife yes you can blend it and that's the next way that i was talking about when you blend it you're gonna see you see when i was rubbing it in my hair it looks clear but when i use the knife to scrape it it looks green you guys are gonna see so you see when you blend it that's how it's gonna look i don't know why my face is looking like that oh my god <laughs>
okay then i'm gonna go ahead and leave it in for 30 minutes okay guys usually when i do my video i said yes leave it in for 30 minutes it's supposed to leave in for 30 minutes but because i have other stuff doing i always let it stay for like probably like 45 minutes and it's perfectly okay so this is what the tune is looking like um as well i said these are much fuller if you see it in the store it's gonna look a lot different it's gonna look slimmer and like you can get nothing out of it but remember you can cut it up and blend it i'm gonna do an next video showing you guys how you can cut it up and blend it um to use it in the in your hair to get the benefits so this is after i let it sit for actually 45 minutes and look at that and guys if you do not have a shower cap you can use plastic bag that's what i used to do yes and i'm in the state i used to use plastic bag to cover my hair so i'm gonna go ahead and wash it out and after i wash my hair i just go ahead and twist it afterward so it's more better for me the next day because as what i say i do not have time to do my hair the same day so i just go ahead and twist it and put it away for the next day yeah so that's my wash day routine guys uh, this is one of the stuff that i use to help my hair to grow um as well as i say i do use the aloe vera as well so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and leave me your comment bye